Hey guys, thank you for joining me. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to all of your hamster cages. So you guys have been asking me to film this for a little while now and I'm finally sitting down and doing it. I'm really excited to see everyone's setups and this is gonna be a super fun video. Before I start, I do just want to say that this video is just for fun. It is not meant to offend or to judge anyone at all. Um, you know, I am not an expert by any means. It's just super interesting to see all of your setups. You guys have seen both of mine um, and I'm really excited to see it, how everyone does kind of things differently and the way that they set them up for their hamsters and stuff like that and I get like I feel like I get to know you guys a little bit better by doing this so yeah it is just for a little bit of fun um I will be doing some constructive criticism if I feel like there's something you could maybe improve on um but yeah it's just for fun I hope everyone enjoys today's video um and let's get started so I'm just gonna open up my laptop and go to my emails so I will just say as well, I did get quite a few emails, so it's likely that I'm going to be doing this in two sections, just so it's not just one super long video. Um, and I'm just going to be working in the way that I got the emails. So if you aren't included in this first section of the video, then I will include you in my part two. While I'm loading this up, I did just want to take the chance to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me. I have, of course, just hit 1000 subscribers, which is very, very exciting. So thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos and has subscribed. Oh my gosh, there's so many emails. <laughs> okay, so this was the first email that I got. So it says, hey, I'm Ty. Um, I have a female Chinese dwarf hamster named Buttercup. Her enclosure is around three feet long and the width is around two feet with the height of around two feet. I scatter feed her food so she can forage and I also use mixed herbs from pets at home. Let's have a little look. Oh, your hamster is so cute. This is why I love dwarfs. They're so fluffy. Oh, just look at them. Okay, so let's have a little look. Wow, your enclosure looks great. I love how you've kind of highlighted everything. Okay, let's have a little look. So you've got a little house in the corner here. We have the same bowl. I have this little blue bowl for Albus as well. <laughs> and then a little burrowing area, a cork log. Your cork log is a lot bigger than mine. I wish, I really wish I ordered the large one when I got them from Zoo Plus because, I mean, they're not bad sizes, but I feel like because I've got quite large cages, it would just take up a little bit more room. So I think I might have to order another one. You've got a sand bath in there. You've got your water dish and a six inch wheel, a little hideout. I mean, yeah, and you've got the Carefresh bedding. This looks absolutely great. Let me have a look at the other photo that you've got here. I really like the natural coloured Carefresh, but I, it's so annoying. Like, I feel like whenever I see everyone else's, it always looks a slightly different colour to when I buy it, but I do really like it. I like this little door that you've got on the front there. It's like a little fairy door. That is so cute. So overall, this looks like a great setup. I think the only thing I would say um, is you could maybe give a slightly larger sand bath. So I know that my hamster, she absolutely loves her sand bath. So um, get like a kind of bigger area for your sand dish. I'd also say it'd definitely be a plus if you upgraded your wheel to an eight inch wheel. So at least a 21 centimeter wheel rather than the six inch wheel, just so you can make sure that your hamster's back isn't curving at all whilst they are running on it. Okay, moving on to the next email. So, hello, thank you if you do react to the cage. Um, here is mine for you. So the cage is based on Erin's Animals um, cage, but I've made it 100 centimeters by 60 centimeters due to where I have it and it fits in there. I love Erin's Animals cages, so I'm super excited to have a look at this. Wow, I love the design. I, I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could do DIY like this. I love how you've got kind of the little cutouts at the front with the circles. It looks so cute. And all these little paper bits inside, they look adorable. So I can see that you've also got um, a mesh front to it, which I really like. I like how you've got the little um, thermometer on the front as well. I actually need to get a couple of these. I like kind of keeping an eye on the temperature. Oh my gosh, your little hamster is adorable. Ah, uh, see, this is what I love about this because I get to see all of your little ones and they are so cute. Oh, bless them. 
Okay, so the only things I would maybe give you advice on, if you can, is just to add um, maybe a little bit more bedding. I mean, it's hard to see from the photo how kind of many inches of bedding you've included here, but I'd maybe just give at least one area that's got kind of slightly more bedding built up on one side, just so they've got a slightly larger area to um, kind of burrow into. Um, but I love your Wodent wheel that you've got in the corner there. You've got some nice chew toys. I can see you've got a sand bath over here and also a multi-chamber hide, I think that is, that I can see in the corner over here. So yeah, absolutely great start. I love this little hanging um, star that you've got here. That's so cute. That's really adorable. Um, and I can also see that you've got kind of some little foraging bits in here as well um, and a food and water dish up at the top. So so yeah great job great job okay my next email is from jennifer so she says this is her hamster herbert um he recently passed away oh i'm so sorry to hear that so herbert was a male syrian hamster and um, he lived in the same cage i previously had for alba so the savak hamster heaven um, and <laughs> managed to chew through <laughs> chew through the bars of the cage great they're such mischievous little creatures, aren't they? Um, so you kept the blue base um, and made some walls out of wood. So it measured 80 by 50. Oh, he is so cute. Oh, he was adorable. Bless his little face. That's so sweet. Let's have a look at your cage. So yeah, we have the same wheel. This is the exact wheel I've got for Albus. I really like the Trixie wheels, but I think it's because I don't have the hamsters in my bedroom, so I don't need to worry about kind of how loud the wheels are. Otherwise, I think they would absolutely drive me crazy. Um, but no, this is looking really great. You use tea bag bedding, which I use as well. Um, you've got your, you said you've got a little sand bath under where your wheel is. I like that it's got um, a cover over it as well. That's something that I kind of wanna maybe add into both of mine's cages and um, it's just like a hide over kind of where their sand bath is um, I can see you've got your little food dishes in here um, I can see you've got loads of kind of activities and little chew toys you've got a little bendy bridge and some rocks up at the top here um, and another little hide over here this looks great the only thing I would probably say so I know you've said he had about seven to eight inches of bedding at the highest point um so i only think i would maybe say with this cage because you've got like the higher sides where you've built obviously the wood frame around i'd maybe even just give a little bit more bedding in there just so you can bring it up slightly higher than the base of the savic camps to heaven top because it does um taper in slightly at the sides so i definitely say just bring the bedding up a little bit more if you can um but apart from that i love all the these little pieces that you've got in here and there's definitely loads of little areas where your hamster could go and hide and bits like that so great job next up we've got a female syrian hamster called celia she is four months old and is in the ikea limman cage um, which has 877 square inches of floor space um, and this is from gina so let's have a little look. I really like the Ikea Lemon Cage. I mean, as you guys know from my last video, I was obviously thinking of making it for Albus, but I've run out of patience of trying to get everything and kind of make efforts to build it. So it was a bit long, but I love how these cages look. Wow, this is really great. So you've got such a load of bedding in here. I can see that your hamster is burrowing down at the bottom as well, which is always really lovely to be able to see. You've got a load of natural items in here as well, which we know I love a natural cage. <laughs> so this looks great. Um, I can see you've got a bendable bridge here. You've got your wheel over at the back and some little hides over there as well. Um, I can also see that you've got some herbs scattered down at the bottom, which I really like, and these oat sprays and stuff that you've got coming up here. Um, is this a piece of cork clog here? I don't know if I can tell correctly, but that looks great as well. Celia looks so adorable. She is... Uh, I just love them all, honestly. I could spend all day looking at hamster pictures because they're just so cute. <laughs> 
And then you've got a top overview of your cage over here. So I love this little watermelon kind of hideout that you've got here. I can't tell from the photo, hang on, let me go back. I can't tell if you're using this as like a little sand bath or not, because I can't kind of see exactly what's in there. Um, but that would be the only thing I'd say to add in if you don't have one is a little sand bath um, over probably just in one of the corners or something like that. Um, I also would just, be careful with the hanging chew toy that you've got, got up at the side here. So I'm not too sure which chew toy this is. It might be absolutely fine, but I know a lot of the time, some of the ones that look like this can be made from kind of compacted sawdust um, and honey. So it can encourage them to ingest it rather than just chew on it, which can of course cause impactions and stuff. So I'd maybe just double check that. But everything else looks great. But yeah, I'd definitely just maybe add in a sand bath as well for your hamster. Oh, okay. I just opened this next email on, oh, your hamster. So, oh, this is from Katie. So she says, my long haired male Syrian Rusty is living in the Southwark Plaza hamster cage from Pets at Home. Um, so this cage measures 100 by 50 by 50. Um, and let's have a little look. So first of all, we're gonna look at these adorable photos. I absolutely love long haired Syrians. I think at some point, I will definitely be having a long haired Syrian because they are just so adorable. Oh look at his little face oh that is so cute thank you guys for sending me all of your little hamster pictures they are making my day honestly let's have a look at your plaza setup this is absolutely beautiful so i i love when people make these great setups in barred cages so i'm Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of barred cages, simply just aesthetically. I just don't really like the look of them um, kind of in my living room. But the Savick Plaza, people do such wonderful things with them. And this looks absolutely stunning. I love how you've got your sand bath over in the corner here. You've also got some large rocks, which I really like. That looks super natural. And you've got this nice cover over the top of it. So they've got a little hidey bit there. You've got a little digging box here. That's so cute. And obviously you've got your large wheel over there. I'm loving that. Oh, and you've added in these little platforms. That looks so cute. You've got a water bottle here. I think I can see a water dish as well up at the top um, and then your food dish too. You've got some pieces of cork log here. Um, I think you've got a chamber hideaway here as well. This looks amazing. I'm absolutely loving the style of this setup. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, what betting is it you? I think it's, is it Aspen or hemp? I think I can, I can't tell exactly from the photo, but this looks great. I love how you filled it up right to the top of the base as well. So you've kind of maximized that burrowing space in there too. But yeah, this looks amazing. I love, I absolutely love the setup. So our next setup is for a Syrian hamster uh, girl called Bambi. Um, so this is the Furplast Maxi Juna, um, which is 790 square inches of floor space. I really like this cage. This is, again, this is one that I was kind of thinking of when I was looking at things for Albus, but I just found it quite expensive to look into buying. Um, but I've seen, again, some amazing setups with this one as well. Let's have a little look. So I really like that you've got this um, large kind of sand bath area over here where you've got your nice big wheel. Um, I can see you've also got your water bottle over on this side as well. And then you've sectioned off that area so that you can kind of build up that bedding, um, which is really, really great. I can see you've got a couple of chew toys and some hides in there as well. I can also see that you've kind of partially buried one of the tunnels, which can be used obviously as kind of like a burrow starter. So I really Really am loving that as well and um, overall I really like this setup you know it's it's a great cage you've got a ton of space to do a load of different things in there let's have a little look at your hamster oh Bambi she's so cute oh honestly guys thank you so much for sending in all of these photos this is just amazing to sit down 
and kind of have a look through everything. I'm absolutely loving this, this is wonderful. Next up, we have a Syrian hamster called Henry. So he is seven months old and his cage is a poor hut, so the same as Albus's. Um, the first picture was when he was about nine weeks old and the second was a few months ago. Um, you use tea bag bedding, Orbeos, Carefresh and Timothy Hay. Um, have a platform underneath the chamber house and there is sand by the wheel area. Let's have a little look. Oh, I love looking at little baby pictures. They're so cute. He is adorable. Let's have a little look at your poor hut setup. So I'm loving the way that you've set this up. So I'm always, I'm now constantly looking at ideas for setups for poor hearts because obviously I have Albus in one now um, and I'm really fussy with how I like things like to be laid out and I, I do it and it takes me ages and then I get super stressed out and I'm just like, no, I want to change everything around. But I'm like, obviously I have to wait because I don't want to stress him out anymore. So I'm constantly looking at different things to do with it. I'm loving this multi-chambered hide that you've got over in the corner there. I really want to try and get one for both of the hands as well. Um, you've got these little willow ball shoes, which are really cute, a little water dish over here um, and your kind of water bottle and food dish. I think this is a little carrot house hideaway, which is super cute there. Um, I'm loving the tea bag bedding that you've got in here and and your wooden wheel as well. I've got the wooden wheel for UA and I absolutely love it. It's so quiet in comparison to the Trixie one. Having a look at the second picture here, I can see you've got a load of burrowing space for your hamster. I love how you've kind of layered in the hay as well. Um, the only thing I'd maybe say is maybe try and switch out for orchard grass rather than kind of Timothy hay, just because it's a little bit softer um, and it's not going to kind of poke them as much and stuff like that. Um, but I love that you've got this little dig box here as well everything looks absolutely brilliant and i'm really really loving the way that you've set this up and utilized all of the space that you've got so here we have a male syrian hamster named moo and i absolutely love his name honestly i he is so adorable look at his little cute face and he is in a savic hamster heaven so again the cage that i had for albus um and you are using tea bag bedding so let's have have a little look oh i love this little chew toy that you've got here i think i saw these in pets at home a little while ago but they are so adorable i'm loving the little stars and the little pink bit in the middle you've got a nice big cork log in there and your sand bath and then you've got your trixie wheel over in the corner here i'm loving the little homemade um little hideout that you've got here and your water bowl um, and a nice bendy bridge over in the corner there um i really like how you've kind of added all of the bedding again right up to the base layer of this cage apart from obviously where the wheel is as I know this is the only way that you can fit it in from experience but I love that you've used the rest of the area to really build that bedding up so that you can utilize the full kind of space that you've got in there as I said before the hamster heaven does taper in slightly so it's great that you've really filled it up to the top there but any improvements I'd maybe just say um add a little bit of kind of foraging material so I know from pets at home you can obviously get like the floral feast which has some kind of flowers and different bits in there um so that might just be a nice touch to kind of add in but I'm really loving the kind of DIY little foraging bits that you've got in there and your again your tunnel that's kind of acting as a little burrow starter so yeah really really great job Next up, we have a Syrian hamster named Snowball um, and you are from Scotland and you've got a homemade cage that has 775 square inches of floor space. Let's have a little look at your DIY cage. So this looks like a great size. I love how you've got the kind of wheels on the bottom. It reminds me of the, um, the Living World is it the Living World Eco Habitat? Kind of reminds me of that and um, the way that you've built it. It looks really, really great. I love the kind of see-through front so you can see everything that your hamster is doing. I can see that you've got a sand bath over in the back here and your nice big wheel um, and you've got these little burrowing areas over at the back um, and some chew toys included in the front here. Um, I can also see you've got your little food dish and your water bottle up on the top here. I think the only thing I would say is maybe build the bedding up slightly more so that your hamster's just got more burrowing space. You've definitely got the high 
height on this coach to do it as your wheel was still fitting comfortably even if you added quite a lot more bedding in here so yeah that would be the only thing i'd say just build up your tea bag bedding throw a load more in there just so your hamster's got a little bit more of an area to burrow but apart from that i'm really loving the cage um, it's a great definitely a great size and you're doing a really great job so my next email is from maya so your first hamster you said is a winter white uh, named willow you encourage her to burrow by adding tubes into her cage um, and she's not got a lid at the moment because she is not an escape artist you are very very lucky if i left the lid off my deet off honestly you a eh? she would be out she would be out in about a second i really love these night angel wheels i wish that we could get them in the uk there is so much stuff from night angel that i would just i'd spend so much money but honestly i would love to be able to order all of their little bits um so let's have a little look also i really envy you in the us for be able, being able to get these really large bin cages it just does not happen over in the UK. It's so frustrating. Um, this looks absolutely brilliant, by the way. I love that you've got your two wheels over on um, this multi-chamber hide over in the corner. And then you've got this little platform over on the other side with your little bendy bridge and your water bottle. I can see that you've got a nice big sand bath over here for your hamster and a couple of little chew toys here. So yeah, I know that people kind of have different opinions on the sources and stuff like that. I personally wouldn't use one for my Syrian hamster as he's obviously a lot bigger, but for my dwarf, she seems to enjoy it and as long as she's got her upright wheel in there as well and it's not just a saucer that I'm providing her with I don't see a problem with using them as long as you're obviously keeping an eye on them and making sure that your hamster doesn't have a super big curve while they're running on them or anything like that. I love that you've also kind of got this layer of colourful Carefresh at the bottom as well. That looks so cute in contrast to just the white on top. And then your next hamster is a Syrian hamster and his name is Apollo. I can see um, in Apollo's cage, again, you've got another one of the Night Angel um, multi-chamber hides here, which I, again, I just love them. You've got your little water bottle holder. He is such a little sweetie. Um, you've got kind of your sand dish here as well and this little um, bendy bridge that's kind of separating that little section off. I think um, something again that you could add would be just some foraging materials um, like some herbs um, just so that he has a little something more to do um, and also maybe just adding a few more kind of tunnels in as kind of burrow starters as you've said he likes to burrow but I know that you've got your multi-chamber hide over here which is a really really great thing to have for him. And maybe even potentially adding things in like um, a, like a cork log could be really nice. I can see it looks quite like a natural setup anyway because of the wood items that you've got. So I think that would gel really, really nicely in with your setup. So I think this is going to be the last one that I include on this video, guys. And then, like I said, I will be filming a part two to this. So if you haven't been included in this part, then you will be in the part two as well. Um, so the last one that I'm going to be looking at today is from Miriam and her hamster's name is Olaf and he is a male Syrian hamster who is three months old um, and you are from London you are living in London but you are from Spain um, your hamster enclosure is 95 by 50 by 50 centimeters um, which is really really great size it looks like the poor hut cage um, I know that the the base of them like the pull out tray sometimes is a little bit different but I'm pretty sure this is a poor hut so yeah, they're a really, really great cage. I absolutely love mine. Um, I have a look at your little photo. So I can see that you have included one of the shelves in here. So I opted to take both of mine out, but I actually really love the way that this one shelf looks here. Um, and you've really built up the bedding on one side so that it's not got kind of like a big fall. I like how you've also sectioned off the side that kind of goes over the area that is a little bit um, more of a drop, just so that your hamster can't kind of tumble over the side there. So that is really, really great. Um, you've got a seagrass, is it a mat? or a hide I can't see completely but 
I love the seagrass items. I think they're brilliant. I can see you've got your wheel over in the corner here. Um, it's hard to say what size your wheel is. Um, I would just maybe make sure that you've got the 28 centimeter wheel rather than 21 centimeter, just because he is obviously a Syrian hamster. But I know he's a baby, so even if this is the smaller one, it's probably fine for him at the moment. But I would just keep an eye on it and make sure that you upgrade it when you need to um it's also quite hard to see it down the back obviously just because of where you've included the shelf in here um so i would definitely say to add in um a sand bath as well if you don't have one but again i can't see if it's sand where your wheel is so ignore me if i am just talking rubbish um but yeah i'd say add in a sand bath if you don't have one um and again just be careful using um items like the log that you've got on the top shelf here um just be wary and make sure that you keep an eye on uh, what they're actually made from again because you want to kind of avoid things that are made from compact sawdust um and like I said before, they're previously a lot of the times mixed in with honey, so it can just encourage them to ingest it rather than just chew on it. Um, but apart from that, this looks absolutely brilliant. I really love how you've utilised the um, space in the poor hut. And again, I really like how you've included this shelf in there as well. It makes me, it makes me want to add mine in, honestly. So this is really, really great. And that is it for part one of my reacting to my subscribers hamster cages. I am absolutely shattered now <laughs> honestly I would love to keep going and just do all of them but I'm this is really taken out of me it's so tiring just going through everything so I really hope you've all enjoyed today's video please like comment and subscribe down below for more hamster content and I will see you all next time bye